he wasted his hook in the bush. You could have order attacked him. You, you should be keeping note him. of you how much man you should be walking. Spelled. When you had up 800 to around, like us walk one. up, walk That's up, use your ultimate Zonyas. Yeah, I feel very attacked! Hello everyone. Welcome to class. I am Headmistress Lumi. Today we're going to be doing some VOD reviews. Everyone set up straight. School has started. We've done a yardstick. This is a ruler. And if you don't behave, you're getting the smack. Is there anyone in here in classroom who feels like they deserve a better rank in league? Do you feel like you're stuck in gold? because your teammates are feeding and that your teammates are just so incompetent and you're doing everything you can but you just cannot carry them and you deserve better raise your hand if you feel like that well if you do feel like that i'm here to put you in your place because you don't deserve any better you deserve in the rank that you are in if you're in iron you're in iron if you're in gold you're in gold okay you deserve gold so for those who raised your hands I want you to stand up and send me your VODs so I can roast you. Hi Queen, my name is Carlos and I'm from Paraguay. My surf is LAS and my username is Stolas. I'm currently Diamond 3 and I play a lot of Karma, Morgana and my faves. Even though my ELO is not that low, I think that I still have a lot to improve. So I'm sending you replays from recent games and I hope that you give me some tips or watch and laugh. Either way, I'd be happy. Sending you lots of love. Thank you so much. Uh, well, Carlos, let us do... Let's do one game. Okay, let's start from the beginning, shall we? What rank was this? Diamond 3, you said? Okay. So someone watered the tri-bush. I didn't see who it was, but lovely. Very, very aggressive Nautilus. So honestly, you should just beat Nautilus. There's literally no reason for you to ever lose to a Nautilus as Morgana. He is absolutely useless against you. You should be using your W. Is it on cooldown? It is not. Okay, lovely. Let me speed it up a little bit. I feel like you can be a lot more aggressive here. He used his hook and you did not bully him. I need to see that again, honestly. Before we do that, he wasted his hook in the bush. You could have order attacked him. You could have binded him. You could have done a lot more to pressure him. You let him get away with 10 seconds of free whatever he wants because you are supposed to be the one that's aggressive. He may have the hook, but he missed it. So he can't do anything unless he flashes onto you. And even if he does flash onto you, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean anything. So you should have been bullying him. Now, I wanted to watch this part again because I wasn't too sure about the Ignite. As in, I think the Kaiser was already dead to the Ignite, so you didn't have to chase after her. So let's see her timer on the Ignite. Hmm. It doesn't show the timers, so I don't really know, I can't tell. I can't really tell the time because for some reason it doesn't show, but keep track of how much time you have left on the ignite because I think that last tick would have killed the, the um, Kaisa and you wouldn't have needed to use your W on her and you could have saved that W onto the Nautilus. How do we send a VOD? Send it to my email, aluminum, aluminum with an extra N, so exactly the same as his Twitch, 2906 at gmail.com. Lovely. Not a good W though, because there's no crowd control left, because it all, was all wasted. Yes. 
you stand very far back, I notice. Really far back. You should be almost parallel with your AD carry. Especially when you're the Morgana who doesn't even need to be afraid of a Nautilus. You should be bullying them a lot more. I believe you had your shield, did you not? So this is just you not having the reaction time. It, you actually had a lot of time here. What I believe happened was you didn't have the reaction time to shield the hook. And you did have a lot of time to shield the auto attack of the Nautilus, which is the, the Nautilus passive, that snare. But you decided to go for a QW, and by the time you realized that you ran out of mana to use your shield, that's what I think probably happened. So, a few things. You should be keeping note of how much mana your spells cost, and planning if the Nautilus hooks me or hooks my teammate, what do I want to prioritize? Because if I can only use two spells out of the three because I don't have enough mana, which one do I want to use? You should have used your shield on the Jin and walked away. If, honestly, you should have just used your shield on Jin, binded a Nautilus, walked away, and perhaps even reset the lane or see how well the lane pushes. But since the Gragas is pushing into you, ganking you, it's probably going to push into you. You get the CS under turret for free, then you go back lane is easy but you went for the qw if you're gonna go do a qw doing it on the nautilus is fine if not better than trying to go for the kaisa because obviously you missed if you do it on the nautilus qw nautilus your Jin can shit on the nautilus and he'll take a lot of damage he can't go on you anymore he already used his hook but of course they had the gank coming in so if anything, the shield was better, but I don't know if it was not enough reaction time or whatever, but that's those are my notes for that. You'll see a flash. You have the stopwatch, don't you? Your runes. See, I know you're going Comet, but you're going Inspiration, the second one. You need to go Kuda if you're going to go with the max W build, you need to go coup de gras and presence of mind. Presence of mind is really important for your mana. That's the one where if you get a assist or a kill, you get 100 mana and stacked up to five times. I don't build damage though. Well then max W build is not for you. You should be either going max Q or max E. Do not half ass it. If you're gonna go in it, on it, you gotta go all in. If you're gonna go damage, you go damage. If you wanna max Q for utility, then you build for utility. If you wanna build, if you wanna max shield to be helpful for your team and be tanky, you go guardian. You go all out on a build, you don't just wish wishy washy half this, half that. Otherwise, it will not really work. QW him right there. He's the QW on Nautilus. You would have chunked him. Stand around here, zone them out. QW, 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 W, 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 W. Definitely should have went on the Nautilus with the QW, but that's fine. I will give that a passing grade. Not bad, not amazing. That will be a passing grade from me. You should help your Jin push instead of backing. As in, whilst he's CSing, you just weaken the back line or whatever. Because you just going back and then him having to do all the work, then him going back like you two are now. Like you're here and he's now here.
up, Lee. I personally would have just altered the Nautilus and not queued. Bully, 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 bully. You have your QWE. You should be in the middle bush right now. Middle bush, middle bush. Right here, right here. You should be right here and right now. In this situation. Thank you for the scissor, man, Maxim and Twelis. Well, after taking that wood. impressed okay let me run through what should have happened you have your shield ready this that should not have been a cue on the nautilus what you can do is bait out the nautilus hook so when he comes to you he's really close and when he is close that's when you qw him because there's literally no way you can miss your binding whilst he's hooking your shield because you won't get crowd controlled but he's obviously really in your face and there's literally no way you can miss. Over here, when he jumped on your thing, your gin, you should be walking up to around probably here and alt the Kaiser and the Nautilus as she's walking in. But you wasted your cue. No, no, no. You have stopwatch. They're not even focusing you. You should not be afraid because you are not going to be taking damage. They're not going to be hitting you. You need to be helping your gin instead of running away with a Q. So walk up, alt them. When the stun finishes, then you QW. And when you do max W, your combo is you alt. You wait for the stun, and then you W. And then when your stun is finished, then you Q. You do not Alt W straight away. So I will give this a passing grade thanks to your Shen that saved your gen. So you see the Gragas and Dragon, you see the Nautilus up there. You see the Nautilus, you know the Nautilus is going to middle. You should be jumping on this Kaiser. You can 100% beat her. Literally ult for her. Then Q, W. Or W, sorry, then Q. What items do you have? Zonya's first. Tragic. Leandri's first. You have no damage going Zonya's. Absolutely none. But that doesn't mean you would, shouldn't have jumped on that Kaiser because that Kaiser can't kill you. Even if you can't kill Kaiser because you don't have the damage, does not mean you can't waste her stuff. Keep pushing because the Nautilus is up there. Either be warding or be pushing. So we still have our Zonyas. You ran up all the way from bot lane just to die. You should have kept on pushing bot lane. Should not have went all the way up there. It, you're too slow, girl. You are too slow. Also, you don't need Merc Treads. You should be going Sork Boots. You already have your shield. You do not need Merc Treads. They have a lot of crowd control, but you should not even be getting hit in the first place. So. Merc Treads, bad. You should be going sor Sorcerer Boots if you want to go damage, but if you want to go like more utility, roaming around, blah blah blah, you go Mobies. You didn't use your Zonyas. I mean, that's why I hate Zonyas, personally. Like, even if you did Zonyas, the Kaiser would have just walked away and then killed you. This is why I don't like Zonyas first, and it's why I like Leandri's first. You could have kept on pushing and even killed the Gragas if you kept on- if you stayed at bot lane. So, bad roaming to go up all the way top when honestly the fight was going to be over by the time you got there. 
itemization, very questionable, and you didn't use Sonya's, so that's a fail for that. Let's move on. I'm like the cockisher Gordon Ramsay of support. If she went Lily Andres, she would have killed that Kaisa. She would have died still, but at least she would have gone a one for one. Glacial argument on Morgana? No, never. Well, you're getting a detention, Lucina. See? Easy. He jumps on you, he's in your face, Q. Easy binding. That's what should be happening in laning phase, not, not 19 minutes into the game when we're in mid lane. It should be happening in laning phase so you can bully him. Dark Harvest? No. I think I've said that plenty of times in my videos, but Morgana's poke is not that strong in laning phase. Her damage is only strong the lower the enemy team is because damage is increased by up to 170% based on target missing health. So the lower they are, the more damage you do. But you need to get them low there in the first place, which does not happen because your poking is very weak, especially when you're versing a Nautilus that has his W. And how do you get through that W? You don't do the damage. So having a Dark Harvest, you will not get stacks. I can guarantee you, you will not get stacks unless the enemy team is bad. And if you do win with Dark Harvest and you do pop off with Dark Harvest, you are probably going to dominate with another rune much more harder. Dark Harvest just does not really work on Morgana. You can't get them low enough. You're not a Zyra or you're not a brand where you're bullying that hard. You can still bully and like land bindings and shield and all, but your damage is... You rely on your AD carry to do damage and then you do some... Your, your W does more damage. You only start to do a lot of damage once you get your ultimate, but do we want to wait until level 6 for our Dark Harvest to start working? No, we don't. What are you building now? Is this a redemption? I'm going to assume you're building redemption, which is, like you said, you weren't going to build damage because you'd like to play more supportive build. And if you're going to do that, I can assure you that maxing W is useless. Absolutely useless. You should have max Q if you're going to be going this Zonya's redemption, like enchantress support build. You just don't have enough damage to support your max W. You should have went on the Nautilus. Nautilus? No, Nautilus. Zed was already dead. Nautilus should be dead by now. Are we starting to see why I personally really dislike using Zonya's on Morgana? I don't think I've seen you use Zonya's once this game. And if you have used Zonya's, I don't think I've seen it be useful. As in, you were going to live or you are going to thrive regardless if you use Zonya's or not. This is personally why I do not like Zonya. In that moment when you had like four people on you, even if you altered and zonya you were obviously still dead. It's just why I don't like Zonya's. I like Zonya's later on in the game when you start to group up more and you're like team fighting in late game and maybe you can go in for the flash five man ultimate Zonya's. But as of right now, when we're only in 20 minutes in game, we're in mid game, they're not, there's some grouping, but like not that much, and their team is kind of stronger, maybe. You don't need Sonya's. It's too early. You missed out on so much damage. But again, I know that you wanted to build more supporty. You wanted to build more utility, but then you should not have max W. What do we build first for Morgana, Miss Lamy? You build Leandre's if you're maxing W. Would you ever 
Emacs and Morgana. Emacs and Morgana is actually the meta for Morgana. It's what you're supposed to do. Personally, I don't like doing it. What you're supposed to be doing is max E and go Guardian for your rune page and then build very Enchantress style. I don't know about the itemization in terms of that max E build, but I don't like it. So I just do my max W, Leon J's, and then Sonya's. If you guys want to see what runes I use, you can literally do this. This is how easy it is to look at what runes I'm using. You go to Google Chrome. You go to my Twitch channel. You scroll down. Scroll down below about me, use my YesStyle code. You click on my accounts. I normally play my Morgana on the second account. You scroll down, look for a Morgana. And then you click. Bam! Go to build. And you get to see all my builds. That is how easy it is to look at people's builds. Why Scorch if your poke is not that good early? Because Scorch is good early. Otherwise you'd be hopeless. It's to make you less of a flop. The same way you go comment on Jana, comment on Jana lets her be less of a flop in early game. She's still a flop, but it's to be less of a flop. You need balance. Sorry, let me look through this. Hi, Gio. I'm sorry, I'm late to class. Please don't punish me. I'll think about it, Gio. I might be nice today. Oh, I might give you a detention. So we have no more wards left. I mean, that was a miss on your binding. It is what it is. Love you. Lovely. Okay. Some mispositioning. Honestly, sh you walked up. You walked up to the right, knowing the Nautilus was here. And I guess you were expecting like, oh, I can get away from Nautilus, but you weren't expecting the Rise to like really go hardcore and destroy your shield and like bind you, etc. So, should not have walked into the Rise, but it is what it is. You missed your binding, nothing like there to extract from there. I prefer doing VOD reviews, seeing it through other people's lenses. So if you record yourself playing, I get to see exactly what you're seeing. I get to see where you're clicking. I get to see everything that you see. Whereas this, I can only assume that I know what you're thinking or what you're seeing, etc. So if you're going to send in a VOD review, I would personally prefer you to record it rather than just send me like a VOD, but it still works. Wait, it is this Diamond 3. Talo and is good looking and he's kind of funny. Are, Are we talking about boys in here? Are, Are we talking, talking about League of Legends? Legends? Do we, we need some detention in here? here? Raise your hand. Who started it? Who started talking about boys? Confess. If no one tells me, I'm gonna give the detention to the whole classroom. Okay, let's continue on. No more talking about boys. Otherwise, they're getting into detention. This should be pushing mid lane whilst warding here. Because you know the bot lane. Yes, okay, that's good. Lovely. Walk back. Ramus getting caught.
it's a fine. Nautilus should not have went for the Kaisa. That wood binding should have went on Nautilus. This should be a dragon as well. Dragon right here. It's your fourth dragon, girlies. What's going on? It's your fourth dragon. Although it did work, you like flashing onto the Zerath and missing and then like you then killing the Nautilus and Kai. So honestly, I didn't like that call. You should have just went on dragon. I don't think that, like, I don't think it worked because of anything good. I think it just worked because they were bad. Like, once you killed them here, you should, that was straight away should have been a dragon. Like, they can't contest you. Whereas if you, like, flash onto the Zerath Mist and blah, 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 like, you're just wasting so much time waiting for them to respawn and perhaps even, like, contest you. But because you flash onto that Zerath trying to get, like, that cool kill, you baited your teammates into following you. See that again. See? Had you saved your flash, you would have gotten her. But you don't have your flash anymore. What did you shield? You should have deserved, but like from what? Okay, you shielded him, I think, thinking he would go in. But that should come after, not before. Otherwise, this happens. Walk up, walk up, walk up. Use your ultimate Zonyas. Too late. There is no point in playing Morgana with Zonyas if you're not gonna walk in and ult the enemy team. You should be walking up right now, walking up to protect your Jin. You obviously did not shield him, you misplayed that. You should be definitely walking up to be ult this, sorry, ult, ult, ult Zonyas, done. But look at you standing all the way down here, missing your binding. He's already dead now. The Nautilus, you walk up. I don't know how that happened. How did they flop so hard? I don't think you go, I don't think your team played well. I think they just flopped. How did this happen? Because they threw at Baron. I should have just kept them pushing. I think your ram has carried that very hard. And then you won the game. Well then. I do not like your build. Why are the children white? I don't know. Maybe just don't be white. The kids are you girls, so... I do not like your build. I do not like how it's very half damage on your max W build, and then half very enchantress utility build. I've said it before, you go all in on one. I do not like how you do not protect your AD carry. You do not walk up to use your ultimate, and instead you would rather Q, and then miss your Q, and then ultimate. Your ultimate should be there to AoE stun, and deny 
them from pushing into your AD carry. You're shielding back at bot lane when your AD carry got caught out and then you couldn't shield him. You had a lot of time to shield him, but you didn't. Reaction time, I can't help with that. That's on you. But you should have had the foresight to at least look into your mana to see how much mana you could use if something were to happen. Should I, if something were to happen, should I QW, should I QE, should I E then Q? Plan out things before they happen. Manage your mana. And if you had presence of mind, you would have been better. Because presence of mind, every assist slash kill gives you 100 mana. But you went inspiration tree, which I think would have been the 5% cooldown reduction, cosmic insight, and obviously the stopwatch one. I didn't see you use your stopwatch all that well. I didn't see your Zonyas being that useful, honestly. In fact, I think it wasn't even useful at all, like, period. So, I don't like the Zonyas first item. And when you could have used Zonyas, you didn't. Like, it's when in mid lane, your Jin got caught out, and I told you to walk up and ult the Rise, ult the Gragas, ult the Nautilus. You are not prioritizing the right people. When the Nautilus jumped on your AD carry in laning phase or in other places, just bind a person in front of your AD carry. There's no need to go binding all the way someone that's all the way in the back. Your Nautilus jumped on your Jin or jumps on you, bind him, walk away, kill him. There's no need for you to bind a person all the way back there and expect your teammate to either one jump all the way onto that person or try to slow down the black line because that's not it doesn't do anything because the people that are in need of help are the ones in the front line. You need to kill this Nautilus. She's on your gen. Or the Gragas is on your gen or blah, blah, blah. That's all I think I can think of. What's her mark? I will give it a C plus. Anyone else want a VOD review from me? I hope you girlies aren't scared. I'm actually a God 4 player looking to climb since it's my first season of playing ranked seriously, so I'm practicing on a different account. Oh wow, God 4 in this first season, very talented. Support main, I hope you learn from you and love your videos. I just played this game, but I know I could have played better. We love that. Two Mon Bay. Two Mon Bay? Oh my god, we love that Two Mon Bay. Let's go. So we're going order. So God 4, Two Mon Bay. That's very good for our first season. Keep it up. So we are playing, I assume, Morgana. Another Morgana. I don't like your choice of your support item. Spell Thief would have been better. You're not going to get bullied. There's no need to be going really sure. Why do you go Moby sometimes on Morgana? I almost never go Moby's on Morgana. I think I accidentally bought Moby's once on stream because I was talking to chat and I wasn't focusing and I accidentally bought Moby's. But there will be times when I know that I won't be doing damage. Like for example, if I'm flopping in lane and I've lost lane, I just know that I can't do damage. So my job is no longer doing damage, but I should build around utility. That's probably when I give up on going sock boots, stop going on the Andres and I just go with like the um, Moby boots, Sonya's. So this is guild for. You can press your W at the tank minion right here. Your W would get the Teemo and possibly the Misfortune. And even if they walk out of your W, the tank minion reduces the cooldown of your W. So you can keep spamming it again. There's too much mana spent on trying to land these Qs. I mean, I guess if you did land a Q, great, but... Whatever. W right here. Right there. A little earlier, but...
unless you're waiting for your mana flow ban stacks. If you're waiting for your mana flow ban stack, fine, you can wait for them. We're spending a lot of mana, pressing Q or spamming Q. We don't have an now we don't have enough mana to W. Oh my God. We don't have enough mana to W because you kept on using your Q's and lightning phase. That was a kill. If you had enough mana to W, you would have killed someone with the Ignite as well. You might have also had mana regen if you went spell thief, because spell thief gives mana regen. Whereas this item relic should gives health regen. Should not have walked up. You already shielded the Caitlyn. You know you can't save yourself. We should not be walking up here. We should not be walking up here. You know you actually don't have damage. It's very, very clear that you do not have damage for this team right to kill him. He, your Caitlyn used all her abilities. You use all your abilities. Like, was her headshot on the trap and your auto attack gonna kill Teemo? No. Why are people sending these bad VODs? So they can learn, Miss Kiki Mona Mo. Would you like to send your VOD, Miss Kiki? Are we trying to drag other students down? Would you like to send your own VOD, Kiki? Since you seem to be very confident, I'm expecting a VOD after this, Miss Kiki. After this game, we're doing a VOD review on you. Is there a way for me to check how much money people have when they go back or no? What is this refillable potion? What is this refillable potion? No ma'am, no refillable potion, useless. You're not even, you're not even losing. Press X. Oh, lovely. How much money did you have then? How much money does a mask cost? She probably wouldn't have enough, would she? She had around 700, 800, but she has an amp tome. Oh, 1050 with amp. Okay, well, you didn't have enough. You should have bought ruby crystal and boots. This refillable potion is useless. You're not even losing the lane because you're out sustained and you need more HP. You're losing the lane because you're literally just dying straight up in one go. You walking up, you trying to kill the TMO, but then you got ganked. And then the, you know, like a refillable potion was not going to save you from your last death against a body bed that ganked you. So refillable potion, waste of money. Yes, I like how you W the tank mi minion, keep the, makes the cooldown go lower, which is good. I honestly would just flash out here. I honestly would just shield yourself, flash out. You know you're stronger than them. Like you straight up are stronger than them. Because if you land your stun and blah, 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 and she lands her trap, you win. They both have flashes, but you want to. You want to waste your one flash for two of their flashes. It's, it's just worth it. And they can't even flash away from your ultimate depending on how close you are to them. So if you flash in front of their faces, and I would personally go for Misfortune over Teemo. Or, well, Teemo can blind. You can definitely, like, just destroy them. This is flash or, like, not this part, like, let me go a little... Let me tell you where I personally would have flash altered. They're walking up. You should be thinking of... Right here. This is literally when you should be flash ulting right here. Flash ult, wait for your stun, then QW. Or W, wait for the stun to nearly expire, then Q the misfortune. Right here. Did you have a Q? You could have shot your Q at least. If you weren't gonna flash ult, you should have at least Q'd. 
because she's under Tara. I think you were trying to ult, you, you were trying to flash to dodge the misfortune. Oh, but you're dead anyway. It's like, who cares if you flash out of this? Like, what's it gonna do? Like, how do you get out? And you, you wasted your ignite when you know you can't kill her. There's no way an ignite, and there's no way you could have done anything to kill her. So I don't know why we ignited here. Actually, I want to go back to see if we had wards. Because I know you don't have your support item to ward. I guess they were very close around because we don't have any wards, but you're under turret, so warding isn't like. It's like whatever. We can't really, it doesn't really change anything because even if you know that they're coming, they would just tower dive anyways. But still, I still stand by the flash out onto the Misfortune and Teemo. Oh, what happened here? So Shivana died. Good binding. Didn't need to ult. Good binding but did not need to ult. Whatever, good job. Do we have a ward item yet? Mm, we should, once we go back. So you have 765 gold. Oh, you bought a blasting one. I don't like that. Moby boots. When you had 800 gold to buy a blasting one, that should have been a sock boot. And if you weren't gonna buy sock boots and you had enough for the 1050 for the haunting guys, you should have bought haunting guys. I'm gonna say it right here, right now. There is no point in maxing W if you're not gonna go all out with damage. No point. If you're gonna go Mobius, just max Q. There is literally no point in maxing W if you're not gonna go sword boots and if you're not gonna go damage with Leandries and all. That should have been ult. Where you bind it should have been ult an ultimate onto the Zoe. Or both of them and walk towards the Zoe. Too late now. How much money do you have? 365. Nothing to buy. Other than some pink wards. Q? Where's the binding? Where's the binding? Where's the binding here? I can tell you're not looking at the map. I can tell you're probably looking around here or something. Just from the way you're walking here, I can see your eyeballs around here and you're not looking at this. Easy kill, literally free kill if you bind it there. Ultimate. Never mind. The team was around. Where are 
this problem that Morgana's I keep seeing they they queue instead of ulting just alt then queue is this Zoe at third? not really she's not really priority but still just walk up to her ultimate wait for the stun W now, then Q. She should be dead. She literally should be dead right here. She should not be alive. Okay, let me run through the combo if you're gonna max W. Your ultimate takes three seconds to finish. Then it stunned them for whatever. Your binding lasts only two seconds or three seconds or in between, depending on how much you're maxing it. But you're not maxing Q, you're maxing W. So your binding lasts 2.25 at the moment currently. If you Q someone with this build, max W bit, and you Q someone, and then you try to alt in cons in concession you will only have you will ha give them 0.75 seconds of window to flash away from your w or whatever this is why you ultimate first you ultimate first wait for the stun wait for the stun w this is when you w now the stun is nearly done now you bind. Now you bind. And they cannot move. And she shall be dead. Okay, let's see. We should be warding at least here. Oh, uh, no, that's fine. This ward is fine. Should be mid lane, not bot lane. You can't do anything at bot lane. Let's walk back. A binding, free bind, free bind, right here, literally free bind. Nas is carried, love that. Where's the ultimate? I guess you... You wanted to cue the cure to save your teammate in that instant moment because he was very like... He was definitely dying. Okay, let me see what this could have done better. You know this Camille is either going to run away or fight your Heimerdinger. You should not be here. You should be here. Ready for the jump. The Shivana can cut him off. It's not your job to cut him off. You just left left him to die. So he's getting caught. Shh, nice shield. Yes, I like how you're walking up. That's good. I don't like that binding. I don't like this binding here. Because this misfortune is already dead, she is not getting away. There is literally no way she can get away from Shivana, who's more movement speed and has her fireball. This binding should be on this Zoe, because you saw her. You saw her use her sleep. 
onto the Nasus. This binding should be in preparation for her. See, bind right here, she's dead. She should have died. I just wanna die. Yeah, see, she, she, your binding was just useless onto her. Or you could have binded the bully bear. Either or, that binding I did not like on Miss Sochi. She was already dead. Oh, nice, lovely. Your Nasus is carrying. I can tell that for sure. He's carrying so hard. We don't have wards, we're out of ward, that's fine, whatever. Nice job. Good snare. So they're fighting, you went back. What is this? What is up with girls wanting to flash Q instead of flash ultimate? Like, just like flash all done. We love the Leandre's burn, killing her. I don't like you being a bot lane. I don't like you being a bot lane. You're not a split pusher. And... I mean, no surprise you died. <laughs> I... I'm going to explain the general premise of split pushing. Do you, you girls know why split pushing works or why split pushing is a thing? You want to draw more people onto you. It's a numbers game. If I'm playing Jax and I'm split pushing, I'm certain I can 1v1 someone. So because I can 1v1 someone, that means the enemy team has to draw in an extra person to help that person beat me as Jax. So if I'm having a 1v2 with the enemy team, that means my team has a 4v3. So they can do whatever they want, take Baron, Dragon, whatever, whilst I'm doing 1v2. That's what split pushing is about. But you as a Morgana, you cannot 1v1 anyone unless it's a misfortune or a Zoe, but you didn't really build correctly. And at this stage in the game, it's not your job to be split pushing. So I have to really wonder why you at bot lane. When you see your teammates in mid lane and you're here in bot lane for whatever reason, not good. Yep, lovely. You kind of just like s l stared at her, but whatever. Free kill. We should be getting some wards on the side. Perhaps a ward there. You're playing very awfully backline for someone that has the binding. Just. Oh. Oh, you don't have your ultimate. Never mind. You don't have your ultimate there. Well, you didn't have your ultimate because you used that bot lane. You didn't have your ultimate because you used your ultimate bot lane when you're trying to split push, I believe. Ultimate instead of Q. Ultimate instead of Q. See, now you just use your ultimate without a Q. Very 
very lucky to have this Nasus on your team. Let me slow down. Shield first. Shield first, then bind. Wait, sorry. Oops. Shield first. Walk downward. The W the way, walk away. She's dead. This Caitlyn is dead because of you. Obviously, maybe she could have positioned better, but you could have saved her. I know you want to stop this minion wave. You should be standing, not auto attacking. W, W right now, walk away. Done. It's not your job. It doesn't, it literally does not matter. This is not this is not more important than Dragon. Too, too long. Staying far too long. She's gone. I mean, you can kill Teemo, but you probably would die yourself, so... Really depends on if you land up binding. No, okay. Walk up, alt. As soon as you see this, you should be immediately shielding yourself and walking up to this misfortune. To try ult her. Does not matter if she heals, does not matter if she flashes. You know she has her thing to slow you. This should just be a shield. No, no bind, no nothing. Walk up and ult. No bind, no W. Shield yourself, ult. You let her get away. Morgana plays really be so scared of using their ultimate. You should be with your teammates right now, instead of going up for the plant. Like when you are here, you should be around here. I don't know why you're going upwards here. The plant is irrelevant. Like you're not even low, your mana's fine. You see the Teemo. Even if you wanted this mana, as soon as you saw this Teemo, you should be walking down, but you're... You just don't care. You just don't care. The so Caitlyn had to burn her flash because you didn't shield her, because you weren't in the position to shield her. If you were there in the first place, you would have bind a Teemo or binded the the volley bear, and she would have preserved her flash for perhaps a future fight. You weren't even there to bind the volley bear. down here, not there. You could have caught that Zoe. You know that Zoe's coming in here, that should be a kill. Like you knew that Zoe was coming in, you saw her on the map. You should have been staying in this bush or something to try get a cure. 
Like, if you were standing in this bush ready to cue her, you might have gotten her as a surprise. You knew she was coming in. You should have shielded the, the Nasus. Good binding. Bonk, 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 bonk. Nice. How did he... So we have a binding ready. Oh wait, we used a binding on something. What do we use it on? Oh, we tried to use it on Teemo, I think. Good job on the bind. Good job. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. We got carried on the Morgana. The Morgana literally did not do anything. We definitely did get, get, get carried by that Nasus. The build half-assing utility with the Moby Boots when we're trying to max W. Wasting too much mana in laning trying to land these bindings that are missing and flopping. Ultimates after wasting a Q by Spell Thief. This thing that I keep seeing with Morgana mains like they want to queue and then oh no 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 you ultimate first then you W then you Q you are not staying with your team properly you're going split pushing out bot lane you when you try to cut off the Camille you were like going bot lane you're going downwards but you should be staying with the timer dinger who died you tried to push the wave bot lane back but then that made your Caitlyn die at the dragon, at the baron, you tried to go for the plant, you didn't, you weren't with your team, you could have binded that team, I should have your Caitlyn, but no, your Caitlyn had to burn her flash because you weren't there. So this positioning map awareness, not it. Itemization, you're like buying a blasting one before you buy a sork boots, you bought a refillable potion. Well, I think that's all there is to it, but that is quite a lot of stuff. So, you have a lot to work on, Miss Thing. I will give you a, I'll give you a D. Is that a fail? That's a D. I can't find any other classrooms, okay? I tried to, you know what I Googled for this classroom? I Googled classroom with kids cartoon. And I wanted the one where it's like, the desk was at the front with like the children so like the angling like if i'm sitting here like i couldn't find anything else like everyone everything else had like teachers in the background but like i'm doing teachers so i didn't need them <laughs>